I have questions. Question one. Why would you steal my recycling can to steal my scrap metal? Question two. Uh, that's a big bolt rally wheel with a cap on it. It's worth more than scrap. That wasn't a question. Math. Not even once. Who's going to put all this stuff back? You? Jesus. Wait, that's not our recycling bin. Whose is it? Have I mentioned my general dislike for Fords? I feel like I have. This is a 2007 Ford F-150. And it's getting rained in. The customer brought this truck in and said it needs a fuel pump. Well, I know better. There's a handy dandy fuel pressure rail sensor thing combined with, I guess a regulator over here. And uh, it was showing 0.4 to 0.8 PSI in the rail. Well, that's weird, almost seems like the pump's doing something but not enough. Before you just go ahead and replace the fuel pump, there are a few things you can check. I know this because I've been down this road before. For one thing, hiding back here behind the fuse panel is a rollover switch or fuel pump safety shutoff, whatever the heck you want to call it. Make sure the button's pushed down. Then take a multimeter or test light or something and with the key on, make sure there's power coming in and out of it. Then you should be good. There's a 20 amp fuse down there for it, if not. Those switches do fail periodically, but that's pretty rare. Here's another fun problem I've seen before. The relay for the fuel pump is built into this board back here. I don't remember which one it is specifically, but um, sometimes those fail and then you get no power back there either. The wires are up here. Consult the diagram. I don't remember which ones they are. I feel like it's here, but I could be wrong. I do know that it's possible to add an external relay up here to make the fuel pump work if you need to. Again, consult the diagram. I can't remember. It's been years. Even after you've done the hard work of verifying that there's power coming back here out of that uh, circuit I mentioned, that doesn't go straight to the fuel tank. It goes back here to the fuel pump driver module. As you can see here, there's a little bypass test you can do. It's a very common problem. Easy to test. One side of this is power, the other is ground. You can't tell which is which because uh, it's covered in mud. Anyway, bridge it like so and see if the truck starts. This bypasses power and ground from the module straight into the pump, runs it at full chooch, which is fine. Good enough for testing, no problem. The module, which you can see I've removed, uh, at least the parts nature didn't, controls the voltage into the pump. It's supposed to save on wear, and for that reason, the pump seemed to last a long time. But the modules don't. Thanks to dissimilar materials, corrosion, and old lady science, the modules do this and this. Ugh, who's gonna clean that? Um, yeah, anyway, um, this could be your problem. Kinda easy to diagnose once you get here. The replacement module is Dorman part number 590-001. It comes with two different alternative methods for mounting to get that module away from the frame. You definitely wanna do this. I don't think I have room for this. Maybe I do, I don't know, there's a bracket there in the way. Anyway, I'm gonna try this one. Long bolts and uh, wee little rubbers. And we'll see how that works. Oh, by the way, you need to drop the spare tire to get up to that module. I used a 3 8 impact driver and three and a half feet of extension. All right, it's not that much. Either one of those alternative mounting solutions would have worked just fine. I don't know why they include both. Dealer's choice, I guess. There, like it never happened. Oh, a word to the wise. Um, the sizing on this plug was off or something and the plastic insert didn't want to go in. It took some persuasion. Oh, luckily there's tons of room to work and yeah, nice lighting and you can see what's going on and yeah, everything's awesome. Anyway, hopefully it works. Ah, oh, you bastard. Yay! Just kidding. Pretty sure I bent a pin or something. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Yay! Unfortunately, the retaining clip was a casualty of trying to get the dang plug to fit right. But it's fixed now. I 
I got my tool stuck. 239,000 miles. How's that even possible? Well, there you go. If your truck seems to have fuel pressure issues, maybe even codes, kind of stutters and almost starts, but then doesn't, and it's in this generation, you might want to check those things before you go ahead and spend the money on a fuel pump. If you own one of these, you probably already know this, but um, unfortunately, if your truck looks like this and your engine looks like this, well, I apologize, but you're probably gonna have a bad time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ah, it's Ford day for some reason. I'm not a fan, but you know, I would rather take one of those 7.3s than like five of those. Yep.